Hey guys, it's Imani back at it again with another video and today I'm going to be showing you what is in my purse. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so let's just get started. So, the first thing I'm going to show you is the outside of the purse and what it looks like. So, it's my purse. It is a Michael Kors purse as you can see and I have this little puff thing that I got from Amazon um and then it had it came with this little lock but it's not actually like a real lock it's just like for decoration but yeah my boyfriend bought me this purse for my birthday and he also suggested that i get this color puff and it actually looks really really cute so big ups to him and this is the back of the purse you know so this is what the inside looks like it has like this major thing here that has all the pockets and stuff and then it has like these little spaces here to put stuff and in those spaces I just have um, the little straps that came with it to make this purse like a crossbody and stuff and then I have oh a feminine product <laughs> but okay so let's open the little compartment I'll show you what it looks like it kind of looks junky but trust me it's not um so yeah this is it all my stuff and then it has like a zipper here and then a flap compartment here and I'm gonna show you what's in that flap pocket compartment thing first so first thing I see are my two picks that I sold <laughs> for my boyfriend and it's just the smaller gray pick and then a regular sized pick for when I pick my hair out I probably should do it now but I don't put this stuff at I'll put it right here all right so then I just have these like membership type cards to places that I have been so the first things first my Sally's Beauty Club card which is where I get my hair dye because it's the only place that I know that sells my hair dye for my hair so yeah I can't lose that and then I have my Ulta Smooch card from when I used to buy these Butter London lip glosses from there they were so amazing but they were really really expensive and then I found a better well not better lip gloss but a new lip gloss which is kind of better but way way cheaper I'll tell you about that later and I have my Walgreens card from when I used to go to Walgreens to get my Shea Moisture products for buy one get one free but now it's buy one get one half off but whatever that's a complaint for another day and then I have my Dave & Buster's cards hold on I have like three of them yeah I have like three Dave & Buster's cards because I used to go to Dave & Buster's every single day basically with my boyfriend and I have my life insurance card and I'm going to show you that and then my K1 speed racing card with my name on it and then I have my loyalty card for my waxing place you know you punch holes and then you get money off so I got 25% off last time I went and then I can get a free service in my next five visits then I have my top golf card and then I have my school ID and yeah so that's in that little compartment so now we're just gonna move over to the little zipper hold on the little zipper right up here and I don't really use this zipper to be honest so I don't even know if there's anything in here but oh there's one thing and it is my <clears throat> Michael Kors care card so it's basically just telling you how to take care of your car basically my car how to take care of your car how to take care of your purse and yeah we'll just put that back in there so now we're just gonna go to the major major compartment and the first thing I see is of course my phone I have the iPhone 7 plus the product red edition and I got this waterfall case thing from Amazon for not that much money and then I have my I'm gonna show you guys my screensaver. It's from um Eris the Planet when she she drew this in her notes or whatever and I just saved it because I love it so much and it reminded me of myself for some reason. If only it had red hair though. But yeah, she's really talented. So yeah, there's that, my phone. And then the next thing I see is just some cash I should put in my wallet, which I'll do in a minute. But yeah, just some cash. I don't even like keeping cash on me. 
So yeah, and then you have the matching wallet that came with the purse that my boyfriend also bought me. And it has this little coin compartment that I like to only keep silver coins in. I only get like pennies if they're new and shiny. Because you know, who wants a dull, disgusting looking penny? So yeah, and then you open the wallet and then you see my driver's license. And then you have my credit cards and stuff. And then you open this and have more card compartments and stuff like that. And yeah. So... There's that. And then I see my big thing of gum. Now, I used to be so, so obsessed with gum. Like, I was never not chewing gum. In high school, people would always ask me for the gum because they knew I always had it because I was always chewing gum. Like, I couldn't go a day without chewing some gum. Or a minute, rather, without chewing gum. Um, so there's that. And then I have my earphones. You know, I came with my phone. And then I have a pencil and pen. Because you always need that. You never know what you're going to have to sign. And then I have my glasses cleaner, Dolce & Gabbana. Because my glasses are Dolce & Gabbana. But I have not worn my glasses in a minute. Because I'm wearing my contacts. So yeah, there's that. And then I have this um, Aveeno Daily Moisturizing Body Yogurt that I can't remember where I got it from I just know I didn't buy it oh I think I got it from Walgreens for free from when I went and bought some Aussie Moist from there but yeah it's cool I don't really use it but I do use this Coco Loco Shea Butter from Bath and Body Works because it just smells so so good and whenever I put it on people are always like what is that what do you have on? What is that perfume? And I'm just like, it's just coconut oil and shea butter. But yeah, it's really, really amazing. And I use it every single day. This is just a new one that I just bought. And then I have my Aleve liquid gels for that time of the month. Because, girl, I be on the flow. Rolling, crying, throwing up, drooling, everything. And then I have my... um pocket back sugar slay hand sanitizer from bath and body works smells so good mm. and <laughs> then i have my keys so my car key slash house key so my car key um my pepper spray because these men be getting bold out here like for, for real I need to keep this on me at all times, especially since I'm walking at night a lot of the times by myself to my car. So yeah, I keep this on deck. Then I have my Kroger Plus card and then my Minor Key Rewards card that I don't even go to Minor Key. I got it from my boyfriend. And then I have my HIV AIDS awareness condom that I got from school with the ribbon on the back. And then I have this flip-flop that I got from when I went to Hawaii a few years ago. And it just says, I love Jesus. And then my house key. And blah, blah, blah. Then my, did I say my Walgreens card and my Sally's Beauty Club card. And yeah. So then I have two things of Carmex. Because you always need to keep your Carmex on deck. Um, I usually use a little Carmex container that's shaped like this. But I couldn't find it at my Walmart, so. And then I have this lip gloss from Bath & Body Works. I have three different ones, but this is just the one that I keep in my purse. And I keep my other one with my work uniform. And then my other one is in my book bag from school. But yeah, this is the Menthol Lip Shine 100% Natural Mint in Ultra. And it's number 1122. And it's so good. And it's only... Well, I only pay like five dollars for it, but the when I would go to Ulta and get my Butter London, I would pay thirty dollars. So, and the Butter London wouldn't last that long at all. Like, it would be on my lips for thirty minutes, and I have to keep reapplying it. But this will be on my lips for more than two, three hours. So, that's good. And then I have this ponytail holder that's stretched out, and then I have my headband for when I do high puffs and stuff like that and then I have ooh, bobby pins 
I be looking all over the house for some bobby pins, but I have two bobby pins. I have to keep buying a whole container of bobby pins like every month. And then I have this validation parking sticker from when I went to Myrtle Beach for my birthday. And then I have this Woodstock pin from the Poetry Festival at my school. It's supposed to be in my book bag, so I don't know how it got in here. And I have this little random thing. I don't know what the purpose of this is. But yeah, that's basically everything in my purse. This is how it looks. It's really cute. And I love it. And it's the perfect size. I don't like purses that are too big or too small. This is just right. And I'm kind of surprised that he got the perfect size and a cute looking purse. So kudos to him. Also, I like how it has the little borders on the bottom. And I kept the plastic on them. But yeah, I like that. And yeah, so that is what is in my purse. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching this as much as I like watching videos like this. Because I used to watch videos like this all the time in high school. Just to see what the purses that I wanted looked like and how people put their stuff and organize their stuff in their purses. Yeah, whatever. So, <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. Please give it a thumbs up if you like it and leave a comment on what else you want to see from me. I want to do a what's on my iPhone 7 Plus video soon. But I don't know how soon it's going to be because I don't have a computer right now that's working properly. So yeah, but yeah, um, please subscribe to my video if you're not, my video, please subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed and then hit the little bell that is next to it to be notified when I upload again and I will see you guys in my next video. Love you guys. Bye.